Are you serious? RFID microchips is causing cancer. What? The Obamacare bill is doomed. That's right. When the Obamacare bill was passed, remember Nancy Pelosi said, we have to pass the bill to find out what's in it. Well, she wasn't lying because when they passed the bill on March the 23rd, uh, or in March of 2010, and Obama signed it into law with his left hand on March the 23rd, 2010, it was only 2,200 pages. Now it's over 4,700 pages and grows every day as more and more uh, amendments are added to the bill to try to figure out how to implement this albatross that they passed. And one of the things they said has to be in the bill, which they've changed the date now three times, is a microchip, an RFID microchip implant so that they can track the system of health care but it, this implant could also have your current uh, bank account numbers. It can be used as a debit card. It could be. It will have your social security number, your driver's license number, your date of birth. They can scan your eyes, swab your mouth, and take your fingerprints and download it all onto the same microchip just to verify that you are definitely who you are. Authenticity. Um, all of these things put in there. Of course, it's a GPS, so you can watch where you're going. All these, and who knows what other technology it possesses. But Tina, I want to thank Tina of Indiana, just got this to me. The RFID implants have found are being found to cause cancerous tumors. The small electronic chip approved by the FDA, by the way, for implanting beneath human skin have been linked to cancer in laboratory animals. According to the research review conducted by the Associated Press. Now remember, the Obamacare bill in the HR uh, 3590 and HR 4872 says that every citizen of the United States must have an implant in them um, for authenticity, uh, the radio frequency identification device or registry as it's reported in the bill. First said, but no later than three years or 36 months after the signing of the bill. That would have been March 23rd, 2013. They couldn't get it done fast enough. Plus, the, the, the American public is not tolerant of it that quick. That was too ambitious by Obama. So they changed the date to December 31st, 2017. And that's been confirmed by Perry Stone, the evangelist, Jack Van Impey, Brian Williams of NBC News, Megan Fox of Fox, Megan Kelly of Fox News, Ron Paul standing on the steps of the congressional steps while he was running for President of the United States, and many others. Now, the small electronic chip does cause cancer in animals. The radio frequency identification device chip made by Verichip, uh, which was at that time under the direction of Lucent Technologies, uh, in the 666 building on 5th Avenue, New York, just so you'll know. They are designed to carry a serial number, which can be read when scanned by anyone with an RFID sensor. Now, medical workers can then use these numbers to access a patient's medical history from a website maintained by the corporation provided they have paid an annual access fee. The chip which was approximately twice the size of a grain of rice, was approved for it by the FDA for humans way back for implementation way back in 2005. But the Associated Press has revealed that as the early 1996, researchers had uncovered a link between the device and cancer. Now, rodents implanted with the chips were found to de develop malignant tumors beneath the skin, usually surrounding the device. The rates are high enough, as high as 10% of animals implanted in a 1998 study to raise warning bells with the researchers who report their concern uh, of this issue. Now, none of the studies were looking for cardi cardiogenic effects from the RFID tags, but in each case, the researchers have ruled out other possible causes. Although they're is not it say something in the Bible about you know, there's going to be these 
uh, stings. I know that's scorpions. That's different. But there's something about uh, this mark. Uh, that, uh, And this isn't the mark of the beast, by the way. This is a technology that could be used for the mark of the beast. It's, you can't have a beast, a mark of the beast, until you have a beast. The beast is the one world government, which will be head by an antichrist and a false prophet. I wrote all about it in my book, Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D. If you want to know more about my book, go there. It's about current world events, how it relates to Bible prophecy, and an end-time apocalyptic scenario, a novel, of how the end of the world could actually come about. And nine of the things we wrote in that book at the time have happened since the book was written, including Pope Benedict XVI would resign from failure of health and Vatican scandals. Exactly is written in that book, and that's exactly what happened. That's just one of the nine. There's a lot of other things happening, and a lot more yet to happen. So this RFID chip does cause, or is linked to causing cancer in rodents. Now, we'll wait and see just how far this goes um, when they begin to implement this system upon people. So far, 2,000 people have been implanted with the Verichip RFID chip. The company identified its target market is the United States, and they would like to go ahead and start chipping 45 million people, starting with Alzheimer patients and pe patients with diabetes. If you understand, this is a report today. This is happening now, folks. This is happening now. Now, this report of the link to cancer was published back in June 21st of 2012 but it is constantly being updated and we're aware of the situations developing as with the RFID microchip. God bless you. We'll see you in our show today. It's going to be starting in about an hour at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com We'll talk about this and the, and the Berlin speech the tear down the wall of intolerance by President Barack Obama, or as he likes to, his text was really, peace with justice. We're going to find out what that all means and a whole lot more. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.